Hey, what's going on, Archie Jarvis? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a new product announcement. As you can see here, I have a bunch of tires on the workbench, and I think you're gonna wanna watch this video because some of these tires fit cars where they don't have a ton of tire options. So the brand is Method RC, and they've been around for a while, and they really haven't gone public yet. So they sent me over a bunch of tires, asked if I would get the word out, and of course, I love showing you guys new products, so I accepted. So let's get into these new tires. So we'll start off back here with this monster. This is a fifth scale tire. Uh, monster truck tire and it is the terraform tread now what's so special about all of these tires are they have a belt in them they are belted from the factory so those of you that are looking for a belted tire because you want the stability you don't need the expansion of a, a normal tire this tire i think is going to suit you especially if you're a hardcore basher now the tread on this looks really really good i mean we've got some nice large lugs here uh the rubber compound feels really good again it's a long wear and they don't come mounted from the factory. You're gonna have to glue these yourself. So that's a pretty cool option for those of you that wanna make sure it's done right, that you're gluing these tires up the way you want it done with your process, or maybe if you wanted to swap out the rims, I guess. They do all come with the rims and there's a variety of different rims. This one right here is the Array. I, I hope I got that right. There's the Array, there's the Switch, and then there's the Hive. I, I think I got all those right, but uh, really nice looking rim. It does have the hub bolted in separately. This this is a 24 millimeter hex on the inside. So this is gonna fit like your Creighton 8S and uh, even the DBXLE. I mounted it up on the DBXLE. It's really close to the tie rod. Maybe you would want a hub extender, but uh, it is an option for that uh, buggy. And I know some people are looking for options uh, for that for tires. So this is a good one to check out. This one over here is the A-scale monster truck version. And this is gonna fit your, your Creighton 6S, your Corrali Jambos, all that type of stuff. Uh, but Again, same style of tread. It does have the belt on the inside and they have foam inserts as well. So it's basically a complete tire package, just not glued. This one here is for A scale and seven scale short course trucks. So like your Mojave, this will bolt right onto it. Again, it has that six lug bolt pattern for the center hub. So you could remove that and replace it if you ever need to. But even the webbing on the inside of this looks really good. It looks really sturdy as far as the rim goes. I actually, you know, started crushing these things and they do look like they're very sturdy. Uh, they are vented from the factory as well. Just want to let you guys know that. And finally, we have this one here. This is the Velocitor on uh, Hive Wheels. And this is a really good looking tire for like, let's say the Arma Infraction or other speed run cars, uh, A-scale on-road cars. Again, we got the hub bolted in place, but it's got a really nice looking pattern to the tread. And inside the, uh, the molding of the rubber is really robust. So I think it's got to hold up to, you know, higher speeds and just, you know, non stop throttle action. Uh, I did take some of the tires apart because I want to show you those really quick. So here is the eight scale monster truck tire inside out. There's your belt on the inside molded into the rubber. It looks like the job is really well done. I, I do like the thickness of the rubber on the sidewalls and everything. So it, again, it looks like a good tire. Now here is the rim, you know, really well built rim. It does have a kind of a rough finish for the glue to go on. And then on the inside, again, plenty of webbing in there. I mean, that is is a really strong rim. And then the inserts are a open cell foam for the larger truck tires here. So, uh, you know, with a belted tire, I don't think you really need a urethane foam. So, you know, I'm cool with this one. The on-road tire, however, is a little bit different. So we do have this urethane strip that they glue together to go on the inside. Uh, here is the rim itself. It's an offset rim. Again, it's got the, uh, the textured edge for the glue to it here uh, is vented. But here, I wanted to show you the inside of this on-road tire because the outer wall here is just pure rubber. There's no indentation, so there's no flex in the sidewall. Same with the back sidewall as well. Just, you know, really thick rubber. And then, you know, the belt on the inside is laid in, you know, as they're molding it. So this looks like it's going to be a really good on-road tire. You know, not a lot of expansion to it. And uh, the thick rubber on here, I think it's going to last a long time. Now, if you do need some advice to glue up these tires, I did talk to one of the reps over there and they suggested that you clean the tires and the wheels with alcohol followed by spray Windex because it has ammonia in there that helps the glue adhere to everything. Use a medium CA and then of course some tire bands to cinch everything down. So that will help you get these mounted up without a problem. Finally, here's the packaging that it comes in. Uh, I don't think the monster truck, to, the Fiskia monster trucks are gonna come in separate packaging like I have here. They'll come in one big pack, but everything else comes as pairs. So when you buy it, you'll need you know two packages 
just to outfit your car. But these are some really good looking tires. Again, if you're looking for options for, let's say your Infraction, your Mojave, your DBX LE, uh, this is certainly something to check out. And uh, I'll have a link down in the description below so you can check out the tires on their website and let me know what you think about them. If you get them and uh, run them on your car, let us know what you think about it in the comment section below or let us know what you think about the new brand in the comment section below. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell, throw this video a like, and we'll see you back soon for some more RC driver videos.